K95, um, we just have that last step um, to create or to prepare our accounts payable ledger. They've already um, created a lot of it for us. They've put in our heading and they've put in all of our vendors. So we simply need to go and put our balances for each vendor. So I wanna make sure that I'm copying them correctly. Um, first one, Coastal Company, 2,230.88 is what we owe them. Um, next, I'm going to look at gray manufacturing. Gray manufacturing, I don't owe them anything, so I am going to put zero in there. Notice when I click away, it gets rid of my zero. That's fine. I always say it's better to put that zero in there than leave it blank because they'll count it wrong sometimes if it's blank. Um, Pacific Supply, we owe them 4177 and 65 cents. Next, we'll look at Westland Supply, and we owe them five sixty six. And our last one is our Yeatman Designs, and we owe them one thousand seven hundred forty three dollars. So then we're going to add up our totals, or add up each one, I should say. Okay, so that total comes to $8,717.53. So what that's saying is that we owe a total of this amount, and then individually this is what we owe to each vendor. Now, the thing that I wish they would have done is that I wish they would have put our general ledger on here as well, so then we could have checked this number. Normally we should check this number to with what we have in our accounts payable in our general ledger. Remember the accounts payable is our controlling account, and our controlling account is going to equal the total amount that we owe to all of our individual vendors. Um, so in this case, since we don't, um, I would double check. I would add things up twice just to make sure that you have your correct total. Okay, I'm going to grade my final step then. And save and continue. You can now go on to the 9-5 on your own, and that was the end of Chapter 9. So after the on your own, you can work on application problems and so forth.